Hello, this is a video on how to install the Ashes of Creation Launcher for Linux. So the first thing you need to do, providing you have the right account, is click on the Get Launcher link at the top right hand side of the page. So download the launcher and that's the first thing we do. The second thing we do here after the launch is downloaded is we install Flatpak. So go to flatpak.org slash setup. You choose your system. In my case, it's a Debian system and we are going to install it using these commands here. So there's lots of information on how to install Flatpak. The second thing we want to do when we've installed Flatpak is we want to install Bottles, which is the Wine front-end software. So search for Bottles at the top, click on the install, and there are install commands here that you can copy and paste into your command uh, console and you can install it once that's installed you will have bottles installed so find bottles from your menu here we've got bottles here um, when bottles are started up we're going to create a new bottle i'm going to call this ashes i'm going to give it a gaming template and i'm going to create it goes away uh, does the configuration and then my bottle is created there's a few things I need to do to the bottle first. Okay, dependency wise, the first thing we want to do is scroll or most of the way down and we want to install Visual C 2022. Um, the installation of the Ashes of Creation launcher requires Visual C 2022. Um, it does come included, but we're going to install it from the dependencies list here. When Visual C 2022 is installed, the next one we're going to install is Microsoft Edge Web View 2. So we click on that and we install that. So while we're waiting for that to install, we come back here. And I just want to show you another application which is going to be useful for you. Uh, this one here, Flat Seal allows you to manage um, flat hub application permissions or flat pack rather application permissions um, and so when you've installed it flat seal here it gives you permission uh, to change the application access so in this case for bottles, um, if you've downloaded the launcher to your home downloads directory, you may want to give bottles permission to be able to see your home directory here. Um, if you want it to see all the files on the host, just give it all files access, but you probably don't want to do that. You might just want to give it access to homes or just configure a specific folder here. So that is specifically a problem if you cannot see the download path when you try to install the programs. Um, so now we know our dependencies have been installed. If we scroll down to the bottom, uh, go up a little bit, we know that WebView 2 has been installed because it hasn't got the disk icon next to it. So that's all good. So that's complete. OK, so now what we do is we run the executable so we go to our downloads folder and i've got two versions of the executable i'll run the latest one and that's installing and we click on next now remember we install visual c 2022 and we install webview 2 so the only thing we need to install here is the anti-cheat so we get the anti-cheat service installed and agree click on install and we run the intrepid studios launcher okay and we get the launcher loaded up now when you f install it for the first time your mouse disappears so you probably want to go back to here just for stop all processes a second and then you'll have the play icon here next to the Intrepid Studios launcher when it's ready to run again. So just load it up again. 
and yes i can see my mouse so the original issue we had was um if we click on login we get a page but as you can see it's all blank so we we end up with this blank page but we know that this is working uh, because if we get a text editor here text editor and we copy so i've just basically dragged everything from that page and put it into clipboard and then i just pasted the clipboard and that's what is actually on this page here but we can't see it um the reason for that is that the web view 2 version um for some reason the version it's on at the moment can't display that text so what we need to do is change the version of web view 2 i'm just going to close this down as well don't save that so the way we do that is we go into the legacy wine tools and we click on configuration here in the bottle and we've got all these settings here so the one that we want to change is ms edge web view 2.exe we want to change that from windows 8.1 we want to go down to windows 7 and we okay that and the other thing we want to do is we want to do, do a new override for a library which is url mon and we put that in there okay so we add a We've added that library in there um the reason why we've added the library is when you submit your information if your mon isn't there as a dll bypass or override it won't actually submit the information all it does is just remove your password from the form and then just start again so that's ideally not what you want you want it to actually submit your information so we click on play again now we've changed those settings or rather start and we click on login and if you see now we get the form up here and we actually get a username and password so there you go that's uh, how we get that working so when because because this is the alpha 2 launch when the servers are back up we're going to test this but that's how to get the launcher installed on linux thanks for watching